What is going on guys, this Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Now last time we left off, we unlocked the brand new area, the Sugar Pine Woods. We got a new tool, it was like a grappling hook, and I did get some comments from you guys, and even while editing the video, I, I figured out, you know what, what if we trap one of those Sinus Snails in, a, in, my, in my snack trap, and then we grapple hook the trap itself. I was thinking, maybe we could do that, and you guys were commenting that as well, so I definitely want to try that out this episode. See if that actually works. But between this episode and last episode, I actually did something off camera for like the first time ever, at least for bug snacks. Uh, I went over to the, oh man, what is it called? Like Flavor Falls or something like that. We got, a, I got a couple more Shrabbies. So now we got two Shrabbies right there. We had one white Shrabby. I released that one so we'd have more room for another Shrabby. But what I want to do is, is make some progress turning one of these Grumpuses into a full, like, bug snack, I guess. And because uh, Philbo already has like two legs, one one hand, well, two feet, one hand. You need to get his legs, his arm. He's got one rudal arm over there. I guess we could uh, start turning him into a full-on Strabby or something like that. So let's feed him a Strabby. Boom. There you go. And let's let's start, I guess, by turning his hand into a uh, Strabby. So. Oh man, his now his arm is a rudal. What? Wait. So if I feed him another Strabby and turn that arm into a, is his body going to? Oh, I can turn his teeth and uh, his nose. He can have a Strabby nose. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got like a little mustache. <laughs> I didn't even notice he could do that for him. Anyways, uh, do I want to... I don't know if I want to give him anything else. I want to make him all strabby. So maybe over time in uh, future episodes, we'll get more strabbies. We can get... <laughs> Look at that strabby nose. <laughs> Looks so ridiculous. And then, yeah, we, we can also feed anyone over here. So, oh, and uh, Wambus wants to talk to us for some reason. Maybe we'll give him something. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants those... those oh, what are they called? Honeybees, I think? I don't know if anyone wants those. I guess we'll give uh, Befica that hot dog, and maybe even the other hot dog as well, wherever she is, probably snooping around in someone else's. Yep, snooping around in Philbo's thing. What are you? What in the world is pillows on the ground? What are you doing? Feed her some. Uh, let's give her the regular weenie worm. Where is that? There it is, right there. Weenie. <laughs> weenie. <hum. laughs> She's got one uh, wiener arm there, so let's turn the other one. Is there any uh, other body part we could turn into, a, like the nose of? No, we can't. No teeth there. Uh, maybe we could start with our feet now. <laughs> there you go. Oh, ew! It's got like, like relish and mustard on that one. Why are these like? Oh, it's because it was the shy weenie worm though. Ooh. Oh man! Now we need to go back to the desert, get more shy weenie worms, and turn her feet into heckin' more of those mustard and relish hot dogs. There, jeez. We have an inch trap. Who do we want to give that to? I don't know. But yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, we we have a lot of uh, grumpuses here that are rather bare and normal. Might as well feed them stuff as well as you know. We don't have to donate anything anymore. And I did get some comments from you guys saying, "Hey, go oh. on, Charlie. Just follow Papa's pointer, or or don't. That's fine too." How's training? Having trouble? Yeah, how's training there? Gramble. We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charlie the ropes. What do you say? Maybe later. Sounds good to me. All right. Well, maybe the problem is that he can't fit in one of those little buggy ball little things <laughs> because he's got a big spoon nose thing. All right. Well, sounds good to me. Oh, what are we going to do here? Oh. Now just use Sprout to lead Charwee back to my barn. Training day. Ooh. All right. Now how do I get Charwee? Use the buggy ball to guide Charwee to the... Oh, he's not following us right now. Is he going? How's this work? Am I doing something wrong here? We're not knocking to Charwee there. Okay, there you go. We hit him with a buggy ball. Nothing's happening. All right, well, I guess I'll just... I, I guess we're just showing him where to go. Oh man, there's so much stuff set up over here. Where, where'd all this stuff come up? I don't know when it came up. It, it's just... Hold on. Oh, I've got to go on the pathway over here now. It's just everyone had to... Oh, what in the world? Why do I have the buggy ball now, though? Uh... Why is Charwee not doing anything? There we go. Okay, well, I, I guess we'll just use the buggy ball to guide Charwee to the finish. Yeah, well, I've got my Strabby inside there, though, so I, I don't know what that's all about, I guess. There we go. So, so, hold on. Is this a... What? Wiggle just hit the buggy ball with a banjo, I think. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to ignore that the Queeble thing isn't moving, shall we? I'm just going to assume that we have to uh, avoid all obstacles here. Avoid Philbo there. Uh-oh. Avoid Phil... No! What are you doing, Wiggle? What are you doing? 
She's so hungry for a strap and she's willing to kill it. Ow! Go, 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 get away! Oh my god, she's gonna hit it with the I can banjo again. She did it again! Okay, well. Oh, we have to go into the garden there. Ooh! Oh, I wasn't even I was wondering what we have to do there. Hold on, let's do it again. Hold on, can I There you go, do it this time. Just avoid Wiggle! She keeps trying to kill the Strabby! Come on, go, 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 go! Into the garden, into the garden! Come on! There you go, and there's Gramble! And let's ramp up into the finish! Hopefully Charwi actually follows us. Is this what we're supposed to do? <laughs> I don't think so! Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Charwi isn't doing anything. Can I go down there and talk to him? Nope, I fell off. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I, 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 I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing for this. I... He's not following us. I'm making the buggy ball go through. I, I guess maybe because I started him in the middle, perhaps that didn't count. Just go through the campfire. Avoid Wiggle, avoid Wiggle! No! You kidding me? Why does Wiggle hate this Shrabby so much? Oh no. Oh no, it's happening again. Befka and Wiggle are- Oh my god! They just knocked him all the way over to the farm. Oh, there's Philbo. Move, Philbo. Get your strawberry legs and nose out of- No! Oh my god! Look at that force they kicked this heckin' buggy ball with! Jeez! Oh, avoid Befika. Avoid everyone. Go into the farm. Uh-oh. Now Wampus is in the way. What? Wampus, get out of the way! There you go. And go over there by Gramble and into the ranch, into the finish. Go! Into the barn. Is that good? I can't see all the way over there. Go all the way back there into the barn. Now he's all the way around. Now he's outside. Go up to my ship. I don't think he, oh man. I don't know what you're supposed to do for this. Like, I did the race right there successfully. The heck, and the, the Queeble thing isn't following us. I don't know, I, I guess we'll exit from this. Can I exit from this? All right, you guys, back. I, I reloaded a save right there. I, I don't know what was going on with that. It, it seemed like it might have been glitched or something, but either way, Gramble says he, or at least looks How's like he going? wants to talk to us again. Let's see what he wants to say. About that training. Yeah, about that training. I, I, I don't know <laughs> what was going on with that. Maybe. Maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he could show Charwi the ropes. What do you say? I don't think so. It didn't work. I'm not going to do it now. Jeez. There you go. He's got a big stra- And uh, yeah, I, I was trying to say, you guys said I could actually feed Gramble bug snacks while he's asleep. And some of you guys were even hypothesizing, hey, maybe Gramble, what he eats he eats during his sleepwalking, hey, Tiffany, and he eats bug snacks during nice his sleepwalking. But like his conscious, like awake, like self doesn't know it for some reason, I guess. Because I, I haven't heard him talk about what he eats or anything like that. And speaking of food, I guess we'll talk to Wambus over here like we wanted to do. Wiggle, wiggle. Hello, darling. <laughs> oh, let's talk to Wambus. Grow any bug snacks? Yeah, how, how's the progress with the bug snacks that we buried in the ground back there? Nothing yet. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry, or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. Ooh, a spuddy. All right, well, that makes sense. We, we can do that. We can get him a spuddy over in the desert area, because we need to go back there anyways to get that, uh, to get Cromdo those popsicle legs. So let's go back to the desert, give Cromdo the popsicle legs, as well as try and get ourselves a spuddy. All right, here's the spuddy. Let's see if we can, uh... How do we do it? Yeah, we have to get two of them to knock into each other. I think there's going to be two of them over here, right? Because I think that's just one lone one by the archaeology area. Yeah, here's one. There's a second one at. There it is. Okay, if we get them aggroed on me, and then start ramming into each other. Oh yeah, what are they not like, though? Uh, I guess I have to look at it. Hold on, I can just, I can just look at this. Scan them with a the picture. Loves ketchup and- oh! One of them not- <laughs> I didn't even try it right there. <laughs> oh, they both knocked each other out! Nice! Spuddy! Spuddy. All right, well, let's go up, and I guess we can feed these two, or feed the extra Spuddy to Wampus, I guess, and you can have a Spuddy, like, leg or something. <laughs> oh, let's go up here, let's go to Gromdo. Let's give him the two pop, two big Bopsicle sticks, or legs, or whatever you want, and see if he'll let us go across this bridge afterwards. Did he fix it? No, it's still broken. Okay. <laughs> let's go see what he has to say about the, uh, the two Bopsicle legs. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we have to feed him now, so let's, uh, there it is right there. Bopsicle. <laughs> and we have to do is let... His legs or his feet? He's already got a sweet potato fried leg or foot there. I guess we'll do his feet. Yeah, he's got popsicle legs down there now, so let's do the other one. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet relief. These things better not melt off. Anyway, a deal's a deal, friend. 
The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Yeah, I know, because it's broken now. <laughs> oh, and so you know, Crumdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Cromdo. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot, too hot. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well at least he's going back to Snacksburg, but if I go here, is this going to take us to another area? Because it looked like, uh, well, this is broken though, so... Oh, do we have to jump? Oh, we do! I think. Either that or we can lo- Oh, no, I got hit by the fire! Oh, I'm in the water though, so that's good. Yeah, okay, well, we're probably going to have to jump up there though, but... We have the- we have the Spuddy for Wambus, let's go get that. And then I kind of want to go back to, uh, to the Sugar Pine Woods first, before we go back to, uh, to another area there. Kind of want to go back to Sugar Pine Woods, because you guys also said, hey, there's a thing in that watchtower that I need to go get. I guess I didn't see it whenever I got launched there at the end of last episode, so let's go over there. Let's go see if we can get that thing that you guys told me about, as well as to see if uh, we can continue to try and get, what was his name? Chandlo, and I forget what the nerdy guy's name was. I didn't really get to talk to him too much. Hey, hello. Let's go over here, let's go to Wambus, and let's give him this buddy. Oh. Wambus, you heartless monster! Stop burying the little ones! Do you mind your own business? Besides, I thought you wanted more bug snacks. You know that's not what I meant, and that's not gonna work anyhow. That's so. Well, you go and let me know when your pets are expecting. I will! Okay, so it sounds like Gramble is trying to breed them. Oh my god, he's so angry. Oh, get out of here. I saw what you did to heckin' the buggy ball. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here to Wendis. Yeah, I've got the- I've got the spuddy. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to feed it to him, right? Or I guess I can feed it to him, I just have to give it to him, right? Come on, there you go. Yep, I've got your spuddy. That's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Philbo. What? Then, hole up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, gather up the fertilizer. <laughs> the fertilizer? You know, uh, night soil, waste. Bud cruds. Come on, don't make me get crude now. Yeah, this is kind of disgusting. <laughs> all right, so, so can we not make Philbo all strabbies then? Perfect. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, um, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Biff. Nobody likes all you snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you gonna buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Better have the extra fizz or else you're scamming her. Hey there, Wiggle. What is she, does she want something? She keeps talking to us. Or what did you want again? Yeah, what does she want? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only a creature. Yeah, I, I remember the bug snack in the desert meme. All right, well, man, there's so much going on right now, and we could talk to Triffany back there. What? All right, let's talk to Philbo. Let's give him the. I guess just give him the bug snack. Yeah, let's eat. There you go. So we have to give him a spuddy. I, I, I wonder if I could override the spuddy with the strabby later on, because at least that, after that he. You know, he'd have pooped and got our fertilizer after that, right? Let's give him a spuddy. So what can I make him into a... Oh, God. I can give a... Oh, I can get... So what is going to happen if I turn something into a spuddy, though? Is it going to be potato? Is it going to be tinfoil? Because it looks like 90% tinfoil. Like, if I put it on his head, is it going to look like a tinfoil hat? Awesome! He's like a slab of butter on his head! <laughs> Aw, thanks for the gift, buddy. <laughs> though, suddenly, I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. <laughs> I need to get that. I need to eat a spuddy and put it on my head so I, I look like a waffle with a big old slab of butter on my head. <laughs> so what do we have to wait until the... Oh, it says, oh, oh, there's a peeking hole back here. <laughs> I don't want to look through that. It's nasty. Hey there, how you doing? Oh, I guess I can't talk to him afterwards. Yeah, I was just waiting on you. Uh, goodbye. Till next time. He looks so hilarious with a slab of butter. Don't mind me, I'm just going in here to pick up your, uh... Nice, he bundled it up in a bag for us. <laughs> and he didn't even use any toilet paper. There you go, you need that. <laughs> Let's give it to Wampus. How you doing? I've got the fertilizer. Yep, got your fertilizer. Hoo wee That stink could raise the dead. Whew. 
That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. All right, soiled, complete. Catch two snow snails. Yeah, we still need to go back to, uh, and I do want to test out that theory, or hypothesis, or whatever you want to say. Uh, but what does, uh, Karamdo have what to say? What are you looking at? And by the way, I did get some comments from you guys saying, Karamdo reminds you guys of, of Danny DeVito, and now that you guys say it, I can definitely see the resemblance. Like, he's got the hair, he's got the, he's kind of shorter, he kind of talks like Danny DeVito a little bit. <laughs> I definitely see the resemblance there, but let's talk to Karamdo. Have time for an interview? Oh, no, no, not yet. Those, those usually take a, a few minutes. What does Triffany want? This is probably her request or whatever to do something for her. How's your research? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Uh, sounds lovely. You know what? Maybe later? Because I still want to go to Sugar Pine Falls. Sounds like it's not something we could just do on our own time. It sounds like it's going to be just like the buggy ball uh, race. It's going to like teleport us over to the to the archaeology area, but it definitely sounds interesting. Maybe later, though. There you go. Alright, well, let's, uh, speaking of Sugar Pine Woods, let's go back to Sugar Pine Woods, see if we can talk to Ch or try and get the other Sinus Snail for Chandlow, as well as to try and bring back... What was that guy's name? I know it's kind of like Snoopy, but Snorpy? Because I was editing the video, I was like, why, why is his name like so random? <laughs> like, it kind of reminded me of Snoopy. But I guess, yeah, Snorpy. I think that was his name. And there was a sin snail all the way over here, I believe, right? Oh, and he's got beds down there in case he falls or whatever. <laughs> but I did want to see if I could uh, hit this one with a trap. So we... Oh, whoops. I keep hitting the wrong button. Lunch pad. Hit the... Hit the... Hit the sin snail with the trap. Aim at the sin snail. There you go. Launch. Back to the trap, activate it when it hits the... There you go, boom. Then we get the snack grappler. Oh, it worked! Sit a snail. Oh, it a snail. <laughs> like, your, your nose has to be so stuffed to sound like a sin snail. But we got it right there, you guys. That worked. That's great. Now, where's the tower at from here? Oh, it was like right... Oh! There's like a, a donut thing. Sprinklepeed. It likes to climb high structures. Maybe some sauce can get it to move. It likes chocolate. It likes peanut. Oh, I forgot to get more chocolate. I know I'm low on chocolate, but we have plenty of peanut butter, so we can get a trap. Oh, see, I'm hitting that button again. I'm hitting. Tab is right next to Q on the keyboard, and uh, I keep hitting the one. Oh, this is its path. Oh, let's get uh, let's get peanut butter because I have more of it. There you go. Cover it in peanut butter. Maybe make a trail of peanut butter to come down. Maybe cover it in peanut butter. Oh, there we go. Hold on. It's like trap. Oh. Oh, it didn't work! No! Man! Ah, it's too slow for that. Uh, retrieve it. Alright, well, whatever. We need to, uh, yeah, I hit this thing and I bounced up there. So let's go up there. You guys said there's something in the watchtower itself. Ooh! Hold on. Put that away. Oh, I probably have to snack grapple it. Wait, that... That's not work? Hold on. Is this glitched? How do I get that thing? Oh! There! Oh! It worked right there! Did I get it? Trip shot. We got a new thing. How did? Why did it work specifically here, but not like all around it though? But <laughs> there you go. We got it there, you guys. Nice. So we got a trip shot. I think we fell off this at the end of last episode. It worked right. So how's this work? Okay. So you you lay down the trap. Oh, is it? How, how, wait. Hold on. Oh, aim. Ooh. So I have to wait till it's green or what? Yellow, red. Five. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh, you have to f Oh! I see now! Man, I wish- uh, maybe- maybe one of the other guys- maybe I did this a little bit too early, maybe- maybe, uh, Chandlo was about to hold on fire. We might be able to catch that little Oreo thing with this thing. I assume if it goes into the trap, it- Yep, boom! It retracts- oh, we didn't get our lunch pad- speaking of retrieving, there you go. <laughs> need to get our lunch pad back, so- Oh! Hold on! What about the sprinkle thing? Let's see if we can- Ah, uh, see? Here we go, here we go. Aim it there. Yes, fire it. Boom. Oh, whoa. oh no. Oh, hold on. Let's get the let's get the peanut butter. Laid some peanut butter on the trap. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then go back to the trip shot. And then we'll activate it. As soon as. Oh, it worked. I don't even have to activate it. It does it automatically. Nice. We got the sprinkle peed. Sprinkle peed. Sprinkle peed. <laughs> I could not do these voices sometimes. That was terrible. Let's go back to Chandler and let's give him the two snails. He's already got one foot. I guess we'll do his whole leg and then, uh, 
What do you want? Oh, let's eat. There you go. I guess we'll do his whole leg and then maybe another foot. There you go. So, why can't I do like his teeth or nose or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, ew. It's like two cinnamon rolls like on top of each other. Ugh. Give him another one. And let's do the other foot. Because he, he does need his arms so he can lift weights and stuff, right? Bro. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait to check my gains. But before that, I got a situation. Honeybees flew off with my backup balls. <laughs> now my balls are up in the sky. <laughs> Come on. No matter how shredded I get, I can't fly. Believe me, I've tried. You gotta be my wings, dog. Master that grabber. Catch me those honeybees. I think I already got some honey. Yeah, I've got... I've got three out of the two honeybees. Boom, there you go. So what could I turn into honeybees for this, though? Honeybee. See, I, I don't want to do his legs. I just did those. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe his hand. Whoa. Oh, it, it's like a little honey wand thing. <laughs> let's do another one. Do I want to do his whole arm or do, let's do the other arm? Bro. <laughs> now he has more grip. Oh, crump. My body's tingling. I think that's the power. Bro, you really did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. Ooh, yep, Snorpy. I, I think I said Snorpy earlier on, right? Oh, is that a... Uh, put this away. There you go. Is this a hot tub? It is. <laughs> Just a random hot tub right here. Oh, and it is nighttime now, so the, the, the little s'more guys are out flying around. So we can get to... Look at how stupid he looks. <laughs> but he's still got his biceps and stuff, so that's good, I guess. And his abs and stuff. Let's talk to Snorpy and see what he wants, though. There you go. Chandler said you have a secret project. Pff, it's not secret if I know about it, right? Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandler everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Oh, ew. Oh, God, get away. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? I I would die for you. <laughs> Just this random guy with like a cinder snail leg and a popsicle arm. I would die for this guy. Sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Splendid. There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bug Watch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. Ugh, one of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Clever. All right, return to me for the next phase of the plan. I think that was supposed to be like on radio, but because I'm like right next to him, it sounded like, you know, he just said it. Because he got a little radio in his hand. See, this is another instance where I... I Maybe I should just, like, not read some suggestions, because we did this before we were supposed to do it, just like we opened up the canyon area and the archaeology area in the desert before we were supposed to do that. But once again, it was only, like, five minutes before we were supposed to do it, so nothing too crazy, I guess. But eh, I still kind of feel like I should have waited to do this. <laughs> Either way, uh, we don't feed him. We just talk to him, right? Yep, I have your device. Ah, chum, I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be quookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. Oh, ew. Do I have one already? Turn his teeth into... Do I have them? I do have one, but he has two... Well, he has a lot of teeth. He has two big teeth. If I give him one, is it going to turn both those into... Teeth. Ooh. Oh, ew. Oh. Splendid. I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for Charmallows. Can't ever have enough Charmallows. Oh, man. You got a trip shot. Switch to it with Q. Catch two Char... Well, that's good because it is nighttime. So there's one. There's another one down here. Yep. The Charmallows give off an unusual signal. I believe they may be key to the Grumpinati surveillance system, though I'm not yet sure how. 
best signal should be safely contained inside my stomach. Oh, Snorp Dog, you got the radio working? Let's put some jams on! Uh, not now, Chandler. The radio is... It's broken. <laughs> yeah, see, that. I guess that's what's supposed to happen whenever we went to the... Or should have gone to the tower, but because we did that beforehand, we didn't get that experience. So, loves chocolate, loves peanut butter, so... How do we bring this thing down? I guess it said, uh... Wait, what, what did the thing down there say? The snack is literally on fire. Some water or ice could put it out. So could we lure it into the water to... Because if it's on fire... So, hold on. If I put the trap in the wa Oh, whoops! I'm opening up that again accidentally. Put the trip shot down here. There you go. Oh, whoops. Uh, aim. There you go. I think that's good. Fire that. That's a big area there. And if we cover it in peanut butter... Is that going to lure him down into the water? Uh, maybe. I don't think so. Do I want to lure him into the wall? Oh, wait, hold on. What about between these two? Uh, retract. Oh, retract. There you go. I'll have to, uh, retrieve it. There you go. See, I want, I want to put out his fire because I feel like the fire is going to burn up the... Oh, whoops. That didn't do it, right? Man. Because I feel like the fire is going to burn up our, uh, our trap here, unfortunately. So, so we could, uh... Perfect. Aim. Fire. That's still in its path, so that's good. Snack tr Oh, whoops. Uh, peanut butter. Oh. Can I hit the, uh... Oh, yep, there you go. It's covered in uh, peanut butter right now, so that's good. There it is. Oh! Oh, we got it, I think! Oh! Chimelow. Yep, we got it right there. I don't know if it being in water was... Like, if I, that was necessary? I think so. It hit the trap. But it, then it got knocked out, we got it with a net. I, it worked. I, I need to get another one over here, though. But this one's not going to be near water, so I suppose... Oh, this is like... A perfect uh, area for this. Hold on, aim and fire. Okay, so it didn't even need to go into water. Oh no! Oh, it does need to. Oh, I'm on fire now! No! Get him! Get him! No! I'm on fire and I'm freezing! I'm on fire and I'm freezing! Get out! Well, at least you don't have a health bar or anything like that. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about actually dying. But ah! Oh, nice! The fire went out before I went to the water. <laughs> ah, man. Hold on, so I have to lure- I actually do have to lure that over to the water. Hold on, let's get the, uh, snack grappler to get us some- there you go. Yeah, look at that, it gets all the peanut butter at once! Awesome! So we need to do the same thing with that. Place down, retrieve the trip shot. And... Here you go. Uh, deploy it right here. Aim it right there. Fire it. Boom. And let's get a big trail of peanut butter from- Oh, oh, the bop, the bopsicle thing got stunned again. Hold on, let's get it, let's get it, 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 get it. Come on, we got him. Bopsicle. Nice. All right, well, uh, there he is right there. Let's see if we can lure him over. Okay, that's good. Come over here. I got plenty of peanut butter to lure you over here. That should be good. Cover the trap in peanut butter. Oh, man, I missed. No, come on, come on. Yes, go. No, I'm out of peanut butter. No, uh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Come on, chocolate. And then go over there. Oh, he's in the water. He's in the... Oh! So it's either or. You can either lure him into water. Or actually, you don't even need the trap over here. You just have to lure it into water. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, that that's pretty cool. Guess we'll uh, retreat the trip shot. There you go. And uh, get the snack grappler to try and get ourselves some more peanut butter. Yep. Boom. There you go. Is there another peanut butter tree around here we can get uh, peanut butter from? Because I'm kind of... I, I don't want to... Oh, and there's another one of, one of, uh, what is his name, Grant, Grant, or Chandlow's balls are over there, so we need to go get that, I suppose. Not actually retrieve it, though. Oh, yeah, and here's that cave I said I wanted to check out. I, th or, well, it's, like, snowed in now, so I can't, uh, that sign say something? Is that an arrow? It is an arrow, but it's snowed in, so I guess you can't go that way, so that sucks. Is there anything else up here? Another bopsicle, another char, char, whatever. Oh, I could have lured that one over to this hot spring over here. That's probably how he could have got the second one a little bit easier. But either way, let's go back to, uh, Snorpy and turn... I don't think... Do we have to turn anything specific into, uh, Charmallows? We got both of them, though. Feed them. There we go. Hold on. Let me let me talk to him, though. I want to see if there's anything specific. What was I doing again? Quickly, feed me the Charmallows. Okay, just feed them in general. Okay. Well, maybe we'll turn, like, a leg into Charmallow. Where is that? There it is right there. Boom. <laughs> Oh, his nose? Can I do- let's do his nose. <laughs> He's got a giant, like, a marshmallow nose. Well, he, I, I, I have a sprinkle- I wonder why I could turn it into a sprinkle bead. Another Charmallow. I could turn his teeth, but he doesn't want that. 
Was is there anything on his head? Like already? It looks like a regular hat though. Let's turn his head into it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> His hat fell off. With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Well, there we go. We got them both back. Nice. Hmm. This guy seems cleared of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Whoa. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog. Let's do this. In just a moment, Chandlo. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro. If I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! What expert hugging that is, you do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. Oh, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, oh, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait. town, bro. Chandlo. Snorp dog. <laughs> late day complete, and the one for Snorpy was complete. Find out what we go to. Oh, is it too late to do to? Oh man, we're probably going to. Oh now, yeah, I just ticked over to 4 a.m. and it looks like it's sunrise icon there. Yeah, I need to go see what uh, Wiggle does at midnight. I forgot about that. And then speaking of midnight, or uh, no, full moon. And you go to the desert during the full moon to get the, the white Cheeto poof, or Chi poof. So, man, that sucks. Got a lot of good progress done today, though. Bringing back uh, Cromdo, bringing back Chandlo and Snorpy. Man, we're getting a lot of great progress done. And I don't know if you guys saw, but where, where's Snorpy's house at? Is he in the uh, mill over here with Chandlo? Because, uh... Oh, I don't think the person that Ch Chandler was talking about was Snorpy. Well, oh, there he is right there. He's got his big thing up here, and he's got weights over here for uh, for, for Chandlo. I guess I could wake him up, but I don't want to. But I guess I, I kind of want to just show you guys. Yeah, look at the top of his head. It's a graham crag with some, like, uh, chocolate, like, pieces on it. And then, of course, his nose is a marshmallow. <laughs> oh, man, he looks so ridiculous. I love it. And then uh, Chandlo over here with his, oh, whoops. With his weights and his, uh, like, gym bag and... Whoop. Ah, uh, and his basketball. But well, he's got at least one of his balls, so that's good. <laughs> then we still need to bring back, uh... Floofty, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Floofty, I keep forgetting, but Floofty was the, the weird scientist person that, uh, I, I guess shares a tent with, uh, Triffany? But Flo I guess Floofty... I, I don't know how to get Floofty to come back here, but... Yeah, this is her area, or... I think it's a female. And then over here is Triffany's area over here, and they kind of share the tent, I guess. So that's why I was kind of confused at the beginning of the last episode. But either way, it looks like Philbo wants to talk to us AGAIN! Probably have another party because we just brought back like three more members. Cromdo, uh, Chandlo, and... How you doing, oh, dog? Speaking of Chandlo, and, uh, Snorpy. Let's talk to Philbo, though, and see what he wants. Probably another party, or another campfire thing, maybe? Let's see. We've almost got everybody, yeah. What are we up to, like, maybe nine or something like that? Maybe ten by now? We've almost got everyone, Philbo. You're doing a great job, buddy. But, hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. Maybe later. Good idea. Yeah, I agree. We've been getting a lot of good stuff done lately. Let's take a let's take a day off. Oh, uh, something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Wait, where am I? Why am I in Lisbert's house? Oh, what happened here? Africa, Gramble, what happened? We saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but like something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? <laughs> or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it... <laughs> until it... It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and like scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Eh, uh, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking into huts? Again? Uh, I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't! Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths! Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high-strung. 
A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets. Oh! You say that again! No! Oh, get off me! Stop. Whoa! Hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, there's got to be some physical evidence left behind. Yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? Hmm, <laughs> the intruder. Seems like there's... Oh, wait, hold on. We got, like, a big path. Oh, wait, hold on. Has it always said no more bug snacks? That seems new. But he said, uh, check out the bathroom, so I guess we'll go over there. Here's a clue little thing right here. Bathroom. Another clue little sparkly bit. Anything in here? Anything in the toilet itself? I don't think so. Nothing there behind the bathroom. A weird, like, little hole right there is gone. I guess I patched that up. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, uh, strange here by the bathroom. Zero house six. Oh, scan it. Scan the bathroom with the, with the thing. Oh, you have to scan the little sparkly bits. What is this? Bug snack. Oh, I didn't even look at the ground. Bug snack tracks scatter from where the grumpus tracks stop. Ooh. Hold on, it starts here, though. Yeah, look at that. Grumpus tracks with, like, little paws. Then it turns into little circles, like, right here. It starts to scatter in every direction. Interesting. I did this out of order, though. Messy paw-like prints lead to the garden. Or, lead from the garden to the outhouse. Yeah. And they scatter over here, about right here. That way. That way. That way. Into the bathroom itself. Maybe even this way. It's kind of hard to tell because it's wood, right? That's two of them scanned out of... Oh, whoa! Weird frame rate dropped right there. Then we have, like, three clues right here. What's this one? Oh, I should have... Started, like, here. Scan the sign. The words, no more bug snacks, are carved crudely into the camp sign. Yeah. I knew that was new. I didn't... I did not... Notice that beforehand. Oh, the was that? Oh, I thought that was a knife. Just like a little spade down there. A rusty spade discarded near the sign. Smells like snacks. Yeah, maybe they used that spade to uh, to carve into the sign. No more bug snacks. Ooh. What was this? The lock has been broken. Broken lock. This lock has been busted open. Something got inside the ranch. Ooh. I bet Grandpa didn't like the sound of that. And I think the last. Yep, the last clue is just this one by the garden. Paw prints. Messy paw-like prints. Lead from the edge of Snacksburg to the garden. Yeah, we did this completely out, like, actually backwards. <laughs> oh, man, he said to check out the bathroom. I went over there to see what happened, and, well, I did it backwards, unfortunately, so that sucks. My heart's pounding like crazy. You believe me, don't you, bestie? Hmm, maybe. I'm like, I did see something as well, like, two, three episodes ago by now. I believe our time here is running out, Doc. I just hope my oh, poor dear Gramble and his bug snacks are all right. I accidentally just skipped a little bit of dialogue right there, but nothing too crazy. What does Grandpa would say? I'm so tired, but so, so scared. I just wish I could rest easy for once. Hmm. Wambus, what do you have to say? This whole mess is a waste of time. I bet Gramble just had a bad dream and he spooked Befica while he was at it. Hmm, maybe. I'm like, he does sleepwalk all over the place. Guess we'll talk to Philbo next. Or, Frondo? Teh, hoaxes are a dime a dozen, pal. And even if they aren't faking it, those two ain't exactly the most uh, reliable witnesses, if you catch my drift. Hmm. All right, now let's talk to Philbo. You found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Yep, I'm ready. Well, w w what did you find? There are tracks that aren't quite grumpus. Something left a deadly message behind. It's probably aliens. <laughs> oh, should I do that one for the memes? You know, I kind of want to. What are they going to say if I say, eh, it's probably aliens? Well, that's... Um, I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. <laughs> Cram it, Wampo, we got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm, monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a wild! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door, or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the Grumpin' Ar- What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. <gasps> I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 you know what? Let's split the difference, eh? 
You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. No, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. You don't know that. She might come back. Yeah, don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you. That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbert, but we have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. <sighs> I guess you're not wrong. So we're all staying in town then? Seems like it, as long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and, and who knows if they're safe? If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time I saw Shelda, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbert, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Okay. Great. Now let's go get some sleep. All right. Let's go. Get oh, the intruder complete. Mountain climb. Search the frosted peak. Can I really go to the mountains now? Find Flufty. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's open up the map. I guess there's no hotkey to open up strictly just the map, right? So, Scorched Gorge, one of them's, uh, man, what do they call it? Like, boiling something? I guess one of them's over here, and the other one's also over here. So it's one of these two that has, a uh, Floofty, and one of the other ones has... Oh, man, I forgot, Shelda? I think so. I think Shelda's actually the person that, uh, Chandler was talking about whenever he broke into town there in that, that, that spooky campfire bit, right? And then, I forget where we saw the newspaper. Was it over here? Yeah, I was over here. Where it said, uh, new grump town. Yeah, maybe this was alluding to this, like, monster that's, uh, attacking us. Cryptid spotted downtown. Is this Grumpus or Grumpfoot? And there's something right, like, there with a shadow. You can barely see it. This angle here, but yeah, I guess I was kind of alluding to what this monster was that kind of broke into town during last night or whatever that was. And the tracks are still here? What's huh? up? What year is it? <laughs> Either way, I think we can end off the episode right there. We got a lot of great progress done this episode. And then next time we come back, we have a lot of interviews to do. Chandler, we got uh, Cromdo, and I think, uh... Oh, we even still have to do the... Hopefully they fixed the buggy ball. Oh! Oh my god, he does not stop badgering me. Uh, where is... Oh yeah, he, he's probably up there, to be quite honest. I doubt he's like out and about just kind of hanging out, right? Oh wait, yeah, he's inside, of course. We have this guy, the Snorpy, to interview as well. We got like three people to interview. We have two people to find. That's going to be a very eventful next episode. But until then... Oh, hi. Yeah. Until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That to put my latest videos on the YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Oh, you know what? I could use the... Uh, man, opening that up accidentally again. I could use a snack grappler to get these instantly, right? I probably have to be a little bit further away for it to work. Oh, that's already all looted. Boom. Maxed out. Ketchup maxed out. Chocolate got a lot of that right there. Nice. Another peanut butter, another hot sauce right there. Oh, yep. Hot, hot sauce is maxed out. Another ketchup right there. 20 out of 20 now maxed out. Chocolate. Boom. 10 out of 20. Yeah, this is amazing, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it just yet in this video, at least, specifically. And then, yeah, we have to... In, oh, yeah. We have to go uh, digging with Trifica, too. Hey, or Trifony. I keep saying Trifica. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, we have to go digging with Trifony, so we have that to look forward to as well. And I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but Grandpa. be sure to hit that bell. Turn on post notifications so you get notified as soon as a new episode goes up. Because I'm still uploading this, like, randomly. And if you hit that bell, YouTube will send you a notification as soon as a new video goes up. So you can comment first, right? But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. Oh, there actually is something over here now. It's the, uh, the, the snack, snackery. Oh, now it says it's snackery. Man, I was calling it Snackiri. I, I was like, oh, it's probably a daiquiri. I'll call it Snackery. And now it says it's named Snackiri. <laughs> oh, 
oh man, I'm never going to get these right. But either way, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more bug snacks. Oh, bye there.